So in this video, we're going to be looking at how we can add hats to our character or very, very simple skins. So one way of doing this is to create a separate animation for every single skin. This takes a really, really long time to do. This is a sort of shortcut around that. So first thing we need to do is we need to right click on our player, edit animations, I'm going to grab the mask uh, rectangle select tool, highlight it, and then do control C. This will give us a copy of our sprite. And then we're going to go to a tool called Pixel, which is a really, really great tool for making pixel art and animations. So create sprite. We'll use control V to import our image and press import. So now we've got a copy of our player inside of Pixel. Next, we're going to resize the canvas to give us some room to draw our hat onto our character. So I'm going to set mine to 350 by 350, which gives me a fair amount of space. But obviously, if you want more space, we can increase that number. I'm going to anchor it to the bottom. So when it resizes the canvas, it's going to take my current image and it's going to put it at the bottom of my new resized canvas. Give me the top space to draw my hat. Obviously, if you're adding stuff below, like feet or boots or anything like that, you want to anchor it to the middle. So I've got my character here. Once we've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to create a brand new frame or a layer. So we're going to create a new layer here. And this gives us an invisible outline of our current character. Once you've done that, I recommend just copying this a couple of times. So I'm going to give myself three copies. So first one, I recommend just leaving blank as an empty character or no hat, no skin. Next, I'm going to go to my second frame. I'm going to start drawing on my first hat. So I'll start by creating a very simple hat. I'm just going to rush through this very, very quickly, just so you get the idea. So that's my first hat. I'm going to go to my second one. And let's do a bit of a straw hat on this one. And fill that in. So you see I've got a couple of hats now. I've got no hat. I've got sort of a bowler sort of style hat. And I've got the straw hat. Once we've done that, what we need to do is we need to actually delete our first layer, which is our player. So we're going to click on layer one and hit delete. This will leave us with just our hats, but more importantly, our hats in the correct position on how they match up with our player. So with all that set up, we can now export. Make sure you're exporting with the scale meter all the way to the left so it keeps the same aspect ratio, the same quality. And when it comes to columns and rows, I prefer putting it down to one column. Just makes life a bit easier when we go into construct. So we're going to download a sprite sheet and hit download. Now moving back to construct, we can go back to adding the hats now. So we can insert a new object. I'm going to scroll down until we see sprites and we're going to call it hats. Click insert and click. Now at the bottom here, we're going to right click import frames from a strip. Copy and paste it. And it's going to ask for the number of horizontal cells and vertical cells. We've got one column. So we've got three vertical cells and oh, three horizontal cells, sorry, and one vertical. So if we import that, oh dear, I think I've done that backwards. Let's try it again. So I'm just going to quickly delete those. Import frames from strip. So three vertical, one horizontal. There we go. So obviously really important that we get that the right way around. If not, that gives us a very, very different look. So here's our three hats we've got now. Hat one, two, and three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit X and we'll have our hats here. We're going to scroll down and initial animation one, initial frame one. Now we can use this to line up our hats. We might need to do a little bit of resizing. So I think I've resized my player. I'm going to put our hat there. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to right click on our hats. We're going to edit the behaviors. We're going to add a new behavior called pin. Now we can go to our event sheet. We're going to do two things in our event sheet. First, we're going to create a global variable called hat. And I'm going to set it to 
2 as its initial value, and that makes sense in a second. And then going to add a new event, system, and on start of layout. Now on the very, very start of the layout, we want to pin the hat to the player, so the hat remains with the player at all times. So I'm going to scroll down, pin to object, and player, hit done. I'm also going to do hats. First of all, stop the current animation so the animation doesn't play. And then I'm going to set the animation frame, so set frame to hat. So this variable here. This means we can change this variable when the player picks link up. So let's say they pick up a new hat. We can change that value of the hat there. So now what's going to happen is because the hat's set to 2, it's going to play animation 2, which will be our straw hat, like so. If I change this variable again, and I set this to 1, I've now got my black hat that I set up. And if I set this to 0, we'll have no hats, like so. And what I recommend with this as well is once you've done all that, we can go back to our hat. And I like to set the initial animation frame to zero, just so I've got my player there. So that's how you set up a really, really simple hat mechanic. This solves a lot of problems and makes it really, really easy to create these animations without having to go through all the hassle of creating all new animations again. But again, you're just layering objects on top, so it does have its limitations.